how to start a WordPress blog, blog tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, Brian with WP Cupid Blog, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to start a WordPress blog step by step. Whether you're a newbie at technology, have no experience at blog starting, or even if you're a pro, this how to start a WordPress blog blog tutorial for beginners will be perfect for you. The great thing about this tutorial is it is extremely easy to follow along with, even if you have no experience in starting a WordPress blog. By following this tutorial video, you will have your WordPress blog set up in as little as 10 minutes. At the end of this video, you will have your WordPress blog successfully started. I'm going to be providing you with a bunch of helpful resources that will help you in your blogging journey towards the end of the video, so stay tuned. The first step I'm going to cover is how to choose and register your own domain name for free. To have a WordPress blog, you have to have a domain name. Step two, I'll be going over how to choose a hosting provider. To have a blog, you have to have hosting. Step three is getting your WordPress blog set up. If you don't have time to start your blog right this second, be sure to bookmark this video so you can come back to it later, or in the description I provided a link where I'll personally send you the video via email. If you want to follow along on our blog, I provided the link in the description as well that provides step-by-step -step instructions with screenshots provided. Step number one is registering a domain name for your blog. If you aren't sure what a domain name is, it's the name of your site ending in a .com, .net, .org, etc. The name of my blog, for example, is wpcupidblog.com. I've been provided with an exclusive hosting discount along with a free domain name discount by the awesome folks over at Bluehost. So you'll be able to get a free domain name. I provided the link in the description below so you can get this free domain name discount. When you click the link, you'll be taken to this page, the Bluehost homepage, where you can get your free domain name discount. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the link in the description and keep the link up as we will be using it shortly. Next, you wanna get your blog online. To get a blog up and running, you need two things, blog hosting and blogging software. I will be using the blogging software WordPress for this tutorial. Some cool things about WordPress is it's the most popular blogging platform out there and Fortune 500 companies use it. If you want your blog to rank, be seen and grow, you definitely want WordPress. It's easy to build a blog, customize a blog and grow a blog. The blog host that I recommend is Bluehost. They will be providing you with a free domain name as I mentioned earlier by the link I provided in the description. Some things to know about Bluehost is they host over 2 million websites worldwide and over 850,000 blogs around the world. They are also recommended by WordPress themselves since 2005. They instantly install WordPress for you which makes starting a blog that much easier. They provide 24-7 support via chat, email, and phone, and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If for any reason you are unhappy, you can cancel and get a refund, no questions asked, within the first 30 days. I do want to mention that the link is an affiliate link, and I'll receive a commission which helps support this channel and helps us put out WordPress tutorial videos. The first thing you want to do is head on over to Bluehost via the link if you already haven't. You'll see the Get Started Now button on the page. Click the button. This is where you can select your hosting plan. You'll see three different options. You'll see a basic plan, plus plan, and a prime plan. I recommend going with the basic plan, and then you can always scale up whenever you'd like. If you have more than one website, then you want to choose either the plus plan or prime plan. I'm going to choose the basic plan for this tutorial, as this is most common. Go ahead and hit the select button on whichever plan you would like to use. We are now brought to a domain page where we can choose a domain name that we want completely free. Or if you already have a domain name, you'd enter it over on the right. For the new domain, you can select if you want it to be a .com, .net, .org, etc. .com is the most popular domain extension, so I'd recommend going with a .com if you can. I'm going to type in a domain name here and click the next button. You are now brought to a create your account page. This is where you will input your information. We have first name, last name, 
Business name is optional. Put your country address information in, put a phone number, and lastly, the best email for you, as you'll get emailed a receipt of payment and a copy of your login credentials, etc. Below that, you'll see package information. You'll see account plan. This is where you can select the term for your hosting package. You have 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, and 60 months. As you can see, you'll save money the longer you purchase your hosting for. I'm going to select the 12 months package. Setup fee is free. Domain is free. You'll see Site Backup Pro. You can unselect this as there are free backup plugins you can use for your WordPress website. Search Engine Jumpstart you can keep unselected. This isn't necessary to have. Site Lock Security Find is security for your WordPress website and protects it from hackers. I'd unselect this as there are really good free alternatives. Domain privacy is an add-on that I highly recommend. It will prevent telemarketers and marketers getting a hold of your personal contact information and bugging you with their services. The domain privacy will show Bluehost information for the site and not yours. All these add-ons are completely optional and up to you to get. As you can see, you're saving a lot for this hosting package. Below that, you will input your payment information. I'm not going to fill this out for protection of personal information. Once your information is filled in, you want to select the I have read and agreed to Bluehost privacy policy in terms of service. Now click the submit button. You are now brought to a page where you will choose a password for your Bluehost account. Click the create your password button. Input the password you would like. Click the I have read and agreed to Bluehost privacy policy in terms and conditions and click the next button. You will be directed to a congratulations page. Click the blue login button to log into Bluehost. Bluehost is also going to at this time email your dashboard login information to the email address you provided. You will now see pick your theme. Bluehost has a bunch of awesome free WordPress themes to choose from. You can select a theme now if you want to or below the themes you can click skip this step. If you choose a theme now, you can always change the theme you pick without any problem at a later date. I'll be going over this in more detail later in the video. Once you choose your free theme, you'll be at the page here stating all done. Click the button that says start building to start building your blog on WordPress. Once you click that and log in, you'll be at the WordPress dashboard. This is what the WordPress dashboard looks like. It'll ask you a few questions as you can see. If you don't need help, just click the you don't need help option. Once you do that, you will see this page. You will see blog posts where you can add new blog posts. You will see where you can add new pages to your blog. If you want to change your navigation menus, you can do so easily. And if you are going to sell products on your site, you can install WooCommerce to do so. On the far left, you will see tabs. Hover over them and get to learn them. Post is where you can add new posts. Pages is where you can add new pages. The media tab is where your images will show that you upload to your blog. Comments is where you can view comments people leave on your blog. Appearance is where you can change the look of your theme or change your theme to another one or a premium theme. Select themes when you hover over appearance. It will showcase free WordPress themes you can choose from. If you select most popular, it will showcase you the most popular free WordPress themes. Hover over a theme and click activate to make the theme your WordPress theme. You should also see add new theme on this page. This is where you can add a new theme if you got it from another site or it is a premium theme. In the top left of your WordPress dashboard, you will see welcome here or your site title towards the top of the page. Click this to view your site. To log in to your WordPress dashboard, you can do so via the Bluehost cPanel or by typing in your domain name with a slash wp-admin. Here's an example. I'll bring up this page here. Just input your login credentials to be logged into WordPress. This is what the Bluehost cPanel looks like. 
You'll see here you can log into WordPress from it. Over on the left hand side you can click the My Sites which will you put up your current WordPress sites along with other awesome things in that menu. A great resource I have used for several years and recommend for professional WordPress themes that look like an award winning design agency did your blog is Mojo Marketplace. This is their site here. If you go to the navigation menu and hover over themes, select WordPress themes. You can browse WordPress themes or you can type in your industry with WordPress after it to browse premium WordPress themes related to your search. Definitely check this site out. Another great resource that is helpful and used by thousands of bloggers is the freelancing platform freelancer.com. I provide the link in the description as well. Check them out. You post a task or project for your um, project. Free and freelancers all over the world bid on your project and you decide who you hire. You can pay them via hourly or per project. You can get tasks completed as low as $10 no matter what it is. I definitely recommend you give this site a look. Another great resource to check out is Fiverr. I provided the link in the description below. You can get almost any task done for $5. And that is how to start a WordPress blog, blog tutorial for beginners. If you have any questions, get in touch as I'm here to help you with anything you need. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress video tutorials. Leave us a comment, we would love to hear from you.